so business is anything which is done with a motive of earning profit and it involves money into it or we can say that by providing something to someone if we get man back money and we have the motive of earning profit in that exchange then it is called as business now coming to the first word that is commerce right from the point of buying something and then selling it to somebody buying something as a businessman or as a manufacturer when you buy something like i gave you the example of uh, buying apples from a big shop and then going to households and selling them so the point from where you bought the apples from a big shop and the point till where you sold it to the one household or to a family this whole thing is called as business and in that this these points from where you have bought it and up till selling it this is called as commerce and this commerce is done in uh, we can say it have its uh, two main sub points one is trade and the other is auxiliaries to trade here we are not discussing auxiliaries to trade because that is something not very common which you should know but trade is a common word which you must know that what trade is so coming to trade now trade is simply as we i have just told you commerce means buying something and then selling it to someone is called commerce in that trade also includes the same thing that buying and selling of goods is called as trade now the thing is that what is difference between commerce and trade then isn't it now understand it trade is the act of buying and then selling the same thing or process thing to somebody fine that is called trade but buying and selling in between these two activities there are lot of activities which are done by the businessman or the entrepreneurs for example getting money from somewhere if you are not having enough money to do these activities that is after buying some things for example let's understand with it with the example of a bis biscuit manufacturing business you have bought flour from somewhere or we can say the wheat grain from a farmer and you have plan to process it into biscuits and then sell it to the market isn't it this whole thing that idea came into your mind and uh, you thought that yes okay i will manufacture this type of biscuits and i will sell it into this type of market my target uh, customers will be small kids or whatever this whole thing and after that uh, manufacturing it selling it in the market through channels through uh, wholesalers retailers and then finally earning profit so from the point of getting idea and up to the point of getting profit this whole thing was your business in that from the point you bought the wheat until the point you sold it from your point that is you gave it to wholesaler or depot holder that is the commerce you are carrying on and in that now see in that process the problems which you face for example if you are not having enough money fine or if you are not having enough place to keep your raw material or your processed goods or like this if you are having problems of store or you are having problem of finances fine so these things are also involved in this whole process these are called the people who provide this facilities to you like banks provide us finances if a businessman needs it somebody gives his or her place on rent to be used as a store or a warehouse warehouse is a uh, word used in place of uh, stores in this subject commerce stream fine right? so these things which they are providing like banks are providing finances people are providing places on rent to be used as stores or warehouses these are or if you are having uh, for example if you are manufacturing your biscuit at some very distant place and you have to uh, transport it to some other place so obviously you will need transport services so that is also one of the service being provided by somebody else so all these things the bank the person who is providing you place for storing or the person who is providing you truck or any vehicle through which you are uh, transporting your finished good these are the auxiliaries to trade means they are facilitating your trade that is buying and selling these are being facilitated so they are called as auxiliaries to trade and trade simply means buying and selling of goods so i hope now this is clear that business is the 
whole activity that is from the point you got the idea until the point you earn the profit in that the buying and selling of goods is called as commerce and in that also we have understood what is meaning of trade now coming to the fourth point that is profession and fifth that is employment see business means you are having idea you are manufacturing something or you are providing any service you are busy with profit motive right it is not necessary that you are the skilled worker in that business for example of the biscuit manufacturing business which you are carrying on if you are carrying on then it is not necessary that you are the one who will be crushing and grinding the wheat then uh, making dough of it and then baking the biscuit it is not necessary you will obviously you will have uh, some workers or skilled laborers for that who will do this for you you will only have to look after it and you will see the other things that is a business but a profession is something different a profession means if when you are involved in any work in which you are too much skilled that is you have skills which not everybody in that uh, everybody in the society have and therefore you are doing that thing for example a doctor a lawyer is it clear they are the professionals a doctor is in profession of medical providing medical facility a lawyer is in profession of providing you legal aid and services and you are doing it on your own you are doing it you are the only one who is the who you can say the person who is concerned about all the activities which you do while you pursue in your profession and then comes employment there is very little difference between profession and employment you can be a lawyer on your own also you can be a doctor on your own also you can be a teacher on your own also then that will be your profession if you are having running a coaching institute then you you are in the profession of teaching students if you are having your own hospital then you are in teach uh, profession of doctor if you are having your own law firm then you are in profession of being a lawyer but if you are working in a hospital for somebody else and you are getting salary if you are working in a school or college and you are getting salary and if you are working in somebody others law firm and you are getting salary then all these activities will be termed as employment whatever you do on your own in which you are having a specialized skill then it is called profession and if you are doing same thing under somebody else and you are getting salary from that person then that is called as employment now coming to the point of sex industry what is industry often you must have, you would have heard words that uh, steel industry of india is facing lots of problems nowadays cotton industry is facing lots of problems aviation industry is going in losses what is this industry students it's very simple everything everything which is having one or other type of connection to an activity is termed as industry for example if we talk about cotton industry so what are what do we mean by cotton industry the farmer who is growing cotton plant in his or her field from there up till the wholesaler or the we can say the big big retailer who is only selling the cotton clothes and in between the manufacturer the processor everybody who is involved in that whole activity they all will be termed come in the they all will be termed as people who are working for the cotton industry understood i am again explaining you the farmer who is growing up cotton crops from there to the businessman or the indus uh, the factory owner where the cotton is being processed into fabric and after that where the that cotton fabric is being sold all these activities all those these persons everything the commerce the trade the business everything included in between this will be termed as cotton industry and there is one more point all these types of factories all these types of farmers all these types of wholesalers and retailers in our country or if we talk about the world in the world will be regarded as one single entity that is its cotton industry so if we say that cotton industry is facing problem of losses during the uh, primary stage it means that all the farmers who are growing up cotton are facing one or other type of problem while they are growing the crop now the next point market what is market if you ask a simple point question 